What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and if you hear some mooing in the background, it is Uno. We have him in a pen. Somebody's actually buying him today. We weren't going to sell him. We were going to grow him out and possibly butcher him, but we decided that I don't think he's going to get quite big enough for what we want. So we went ahead and Put him up for sale and someone's picking him up today so it's kind of a busy day it's been a busy week really because we finally finished the greenhouse so it's well the greenhouse is finished everything around it isn't quite finished so i figured i would just give you guys a quick update on what we're doing and because we are selling uno that means tomorrow i get to milk carla so hopefully that will go well but for now, we're going to go into the greenhouse and take a peek at that. So the plan is to get, I ordered some more planter boxes to go out here in front for our herb gardens and stuff. And then I've got a couple more planters like this that are going to go down the middle row. And I have our smaller planters in here. And we have enough room for our wood stove. And I'm going to be putting some other planters over here and have enough room for our tr citrus trees that we're going to get be put over there in the winter time so as far as planter boxes go this is the main ones and then out here we've got the big two foot deep boxes that we had at our old place that I still have to put together but those will go out here for our outside garden and while I would love to be able to plant directly in the ground the soil here is pretty good the issue we have is that's a black walnut tree, that's a black walnut tree, that's a black walnut tree. They're, what are you doing Dobby? They're kind of everywhere and if you know anything about black walnuts, their root systems kind of poison the soil so certain plants won't grow real well. So in hopes to kind of mitigate that issue, we are doing raised beds over here. We also have all of the girls out here on electric netting. We got some more Premier One netting, so it pretty much covers this entire area. And so since the drought, that pasture hadn't really greened up a whole lot because they had just been eating it down. So we put them over here. They've been over here for about a week now and they're doing great keeping this grass down and all of that has started to grow back, which is, nice but we will continue keeping them over here we're going to move the netting in a few days to over in this area so they will have plenty to munch on all right hi gravy hi sweetie what are you doing what are you doing huh i know you got the day off the girls are across the driveway huh all right, and since we finished up the greenhouse finally, and we're just kind of waiting on planter boxes to arrive, we decided to start working on the barn. Now, if you guys have been around this channel for a long time, you'll know at our old property, we did something similar. We ended up at the old place actually doing the front and wood ourselves. And after doing that, when we decided on how we were going to put this place up, we opted to do the roll up doors. That way when it comes time to clean the stalls out we can just roll them up and clean everything out which will be a lot easier. Now we are, well we did put the wood up here and we're going to put a partition gate here for hay and straw storage. Jesse actually had to go and get a new battery for Big Blue to get the auger working because we had to dig some deep holes for some wooden posts. And then instead of the sliding barn doors, like on the old one, we're just putting these gates on, which will be plenty to keep all the girls in. And then one side will be just our gen pop, like the old barn, where they'll have the whole open area to themselves. And then over here will be the nursery area and instead of putting up permanent stalls like we did at the old place we're going to put stalls up that we can put up and take down as needed so again it'll be a lot easier to clean out and we have added 
windows to it that we didn't have at the old place for more ventilation. So, hi, hi gravy. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier to clean out than our old place. All right, y'all, so it is the next day. And if you listen, you can hear Uno still yelling in the background, and that's because the people that were supposed to pick him up never showed. So since we had him contained, we figured, why not go ahead and just castrate him and wean him? So that's what we did. He is separated, so that means we can start milking Carla. So let's get morning chores done and see how this milking a cow goes. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of gallon from her which isn't bad but we, we got just over half a gallon for us from her there was some spillage so it's bound to happen other than getting smacked in the face by her tail a few times it was pretty uneventful we didn't have to tie her up we just gave her some feed in a little bucket and she just hung out and let us milk her which was great but now it's towards the end of the day and I have to milk some of these guys so let's head over there Now, if given the choice between milking a cow or multiple cows versus milking multiple goats a day, I think I would still probably stick with goats. I just prefer their milk for making cheeses and things, and they're a little bit easier to handle. But I'm still going to continue to milk Carla. <laughs> Wow. 
So milking Carly, you definitely get a little bit more reward for your work as opposed to milking goats. I have to milk, I'm right now I'm milking four goats and we're getting about a gallon for one milking a day of all four goats. But with Carla, I can get close to a gallon already and I'm only milking her once a day. So our plan is to, of course, obviously keep the goats and keep milking the goats because we love goat milk and I like making goat milk cheeses, but we do eventually want to get a dedicated milk cow. So Carla is kind of our test cow to see if it's something we really want to do. Carla isn't a Jersey. She's not considered necessarily a milking cow. She is a Dexter, so she is a dual purpose cow. She's small but she packs on a lot of meat and she packs on a lot of dairy, but she's never gonna give us the same amount of milk or the high fat content that say a Jersey would. So for now, we're gonna continue to milk her just to make sure that we really like doing it and that we enjoy having the cow's milk around. Gravy is being gravy. But for now, we're going to definitely keep all of the goats and Carla and maybe in the future and get a milk cow. We're, we're still on the fence about that. Come on, baby. Let's go. Jeez. Close it. Now, I did order a new goat milker, which will make things go a lot quicker because I'll be able to milk two goats at one time. So that will be very nice and save us a little bit of time during chores. But as of right now, I'm going to be milking Carla in the morning and the goats in the evening just to try to ease some of the time we spend on chores. <laughs> Creepy. All right, so why do we want more milk if we've got all these dairy goats hi valkyrie if we have all these dairy goats why would we want a dairy cow well it's easy i'm addicted to cheese i started making goat cheese a few months ago and i can't stop making it i love making it i especially love eating it but i can only make so much cheese with the amount of milk that the goats are giving me so with the cow, I can add more milk and make more cheeses. Another reason is in my state, it is legal to sell raw milk off the farm with, of course, some stipulations. So I can sell my raw goat milk and my raw cow milk right off of the farm. And right now, raw milk in my area is going anywhere from 8 to $10 a gallon. I'm being, I'm being attacked. Gravy. <laughs> I don't need a fur coat gravy. Thank you. So if I can get enough milk to make my cheeses and have for the family to drink and whatever else we need it for and have extra to sell, that would just be the ideal. And selling the milk will also help to offset the feed costs because she eats a lot. Don't you? Huh. So in conclusion, we are going to continue to milk all these girls and of course after this year's breeding we will be milking I think right at 15 I think we're breeding 15 girls this fall for spring kidding so we will have 15 goats to milk which will be lots and lots of milk maybe by then I'll decide we have plenty and I won't get a dairy cow and we'll just stick with Carla who gives us milk already but we will see. It's all, <laughs> it's all a matter of how everything goes in the near future. All right, so I gotta get this milk chilling. So I think that is where we will end this video today. So if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
can't have hash this. Gravy, you got some hot breath. You got some hot, hot breath, don't you?